here we discussed about an important application of nth order forward difference okay and the problem is find the value of delta to the power n cos ax plus b and delta to the power n sin ax plus b these two are the same type of problem we start with the first problem and we first find the first order forward difference of cos of ax plus b now using the definition of first order forward difference we write cos of a into x plus h plus b minus cos of ax plus b where h be the step length okay now use the formula of cos c minus cos d and this is given by 2 into sin c plus d by 2 that is that is we get a x plus b plus this is a h by 2 because this plus this by 2 gives this result and into sin d minus c by 2 so we get from here sin d minus c by 2 this is minus minus a h by 2 okay and now this can be written as 2 into minus 2 into sin a h by 2 into sin a x plus b plus a h by 2 Okay, we write this minus outside of sin because sin of minus theta this is equal to minus sin theta. Now again we write this relation as two into sin a h by two into this can be written as cos of pi by two plus a x plus b plus a h by two. Okay. so we get this result as this and we again write 2 into sin a h by 2 into cos of a x plus b plus pi plus a h by 2 right so this is the first difference of cos of a x plus b okay now to find the second order difference that is delta square cos of a x plus b we write this result as delta of this is 2 into sin a h by 2 into cos of a x plus b plus pi plus a h by 2 okay and using by similar manner or using the above result we again get because of this is constant so we write it outside of delta so we get 2 into sin a h by 2 into from here we get delta into cos of a x plus b plus pi plus a h by 2 okay this is we write delta of cos of a x plus b type and again using the same result we write this result as 2 into sin a h by 2 and from this result again we get another sin a h by 2 into 2 and this becomes cos of cos of a x plus b plus 2 into pi plus a h by 2 okay that is we get 2 into sin a h by 2 whole square into cos of a x plus b plus 2 into pi plus a h by 2 this is the second order difference 
or forward difference of cos of ax plus b. Now to use the principle of mathematical induction, we let here or assume here, assume that delta to the power r cos of ax plus b, this is given by 2 into sin ah by 2 whole to the power r into cos of ax plus b plus n into ah plus pi by 2. This relation we assume for n equal to r as in mathematical induction. Now again we find the r plus 1th order difference or forward difference of cos ax plus b. Okay. Then we get the result as 2 into sin of ah by 2 whole to the power r into delta cos of ax plus b plus n ah plus pi by 2. And using the definition of delta, we get from this result 2 into sin a h by 2 whole to the power r into this is cos of a into x plus h plus b plus a into sorry this is not a this is r r into r into a h plus pi by 2 minus this is the same cos a x plus b plus r into a h plus pi by 2. Okay. This is cos this here we put x plus h in place of x and this is the constant by the definition of delta. Okay. And using the result cos c minus cos d again we get this is 2 into sin a h by 2 whole to the power r into from here we get sin of minus a h by 2 into sin of this is this is a x plus b plus r into a h plus pi by 2 plus we get another one a h by 2 extra in this result because this is sin c plus d by 2. So this is a h by 2. Right. Now we again transfer sin to cos and this minus can be vanished in this term from here. Okay. And we again get a 2 here because the formula of cos c minus cos d this is equal to 2 into. So we get the result as 2 into sin a h by 2 whole to the power r plus 1 into cos of this is pi by 2 plus a h by 2 a h by 2 plus a x plus b plus r into a h plus pi by 2. Okay, and this result gives us this is 2 into sin a h by 2 whole to the power r plus 1 cos of a x plus b plus r plus 1 into a h plus pi by 2. Okay, and we say that this result this result is same. Sorry, this is not this is not square this is r and this is also r this result is same but we get here r plus 1 in place of r so we say that by using the mathematical induction the result is or this result is true for all r equals to capital n okay so the result is given by this 
by writing R, writing N for R. Okay, and this is a similar problem as the first one, and this is your own task. Okay, and you must write the answer of second problem in comment box. Thank you. Thank you for watching.